I never promised Tonto to DK marriage. No escape on my phone, Prince Popo Green. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I greet you all according to your time. Guys, if this is your first time of coming across my video or my channel, you are highly welcome. And if you've not subscribed to this channel, kindly click on the red subscribe button and don't forget also to click on the post notification bell so that whenever I upload a new update, you will be notified. Tom to DKS lover, Prince Bobogri has said that he never promised her marriage, nor does he have the estate of over 30 women on his phone as widely reported. Mr. Kokbogri, in an exclusive interview with Premium Time on Tuesday, shortly after his release from police detention, said the controversial actress literally forced their tumultuous and short life relationship into existence. Kokbogri, who was thrust into the limelight after Miss Tom Todike unveiled him on the occasion of his birthday on June 27. On our official Instagram page, also insinuated that the actress threw herself at him. I was not into the relationship as she was. Have you ever wondered why she was always posting our relationship here and there on social media? And I did little or less posting, he said. In a petition against Popogri dated September 6th and addressed to the Commission of Police Federal Capital Territory Command, Tom Todike, through a counsel in Festus Keyamo Chambers, Okechuku Uju Azoji and Arinze Egbo said, Bokbogri carefully planned his entry into her life and started to court her with a proposal to marry her. Bokbogri, who has been popular in Delta State political scene in recent years, also said he was hesitant to proceed with the affair at first. He said, when Tonto and I started talking, she said she is the relationship type this and that but i never promised her marriage i didn't know her i was on my own when one mr suleiman called me and told me that he was coming to my house with somebody i asked who was that he said when he comes i would see the person lo and behold when he came it was tone to i took him aside and asked him is this not tone to decay the one that destroyed her husband, Churchill, and he told me that she had repented. She is now a church lady and her birthday was coming up. According to Popogri's lawyer, Ojefia, DK filed a petition on breach of contract for marriage, which is why she hold claim to the lesser suv. Popogri also narrated the hurdles he encountered while trying to retrieve his suv lesers. 570 that was allegedly stolen by his ex-lover which led to his detention he said i was not arrested by the police i went to retrieve my suv car that was stolen by her dk she does not own a car she only rents cars around hmm. however popogri noted that why he was detained DK and her colleagues Doris Ogala were dancing and singing around the place. The police had searched my phones and devices, but there was no S video as she had said. He also said, contrary to stories bandied around by Miss Ogala, he has never been in prison. Which prison did they say I was in? Is it Kirikiri, Potakot, or Calabar? which prison or which judge convict me when which court all these are stories they fed people on social media with bobogri was arrested for attempting to cause a breach of the peace of the transcourt hilton hotel 
Maltama, Abuja on Monday. He was said to have visited the luxury hotel with two police guards in a bid to retrieve a luxury suit packed by DK who lodged there. He also blocked the vehicle with his car and when cautioned, he put the, his police escort reported threatening to shot a female worker of the hotel. The hotel management subsequently invited the police which whisked all the parties to the Federal Criminal Investigation and Intelligence Department. This led to his detention. Explaining his side of the story, Bokbogri said he tracked his laser suit on Saturday to the parking lot of Transcott Hotel Abuja and went there with his mobile police. He said, I had told the manager of Transcott and as a law-abiding citizen, and I went to the police command at Montana to help me cover my car. But we discover that the car has been reprogrammed. I informed the management of Transcott who had chain locked my car and I told my mobile police and driver to keep surveillance over the car. I don't know who told her but she came in the night to secretly took the car away and my driver blocked her with the white Mercedes Benz we came with so that she would not take the car away. While I went and report to the FCIDD, I didn't see her with my eyes that day. Bokogri also debunked allegation by DK that he pointed a gun to her head and threatened to shoot her. So my people, <laughs> Bokogri don't come again with long story. At first, Bokogri say he not promised Tonto to marriage. He said Tonto now forced herself to her. And he still come. <clears throat> he said, please don't check in phone. He said, please not see anything like 30 women when they are <laughs> this thing they in phone. He said, and please also don't see check on in device. He said, nothing they is in device. He said, all the people when they say in the cri cri, say, which cri cri they say they. He said, which court they for judge the case? He said, Tonto DK go tell a lawyer, say, <laughs> he promised her marriage. Now he they talk now, he say, where he want to promise Tonto DK marriage for relationship when he not even reached three months. But then I saw that they take a quick promise person now, he said, because he don't know Tonto before. Now one of his friend, now he carry Tonto, can't give him. And the way Tonto even carry all her body put for the relationship, say he not put in body like that. Say if people watch, say he not even they post Tonto for him page. Self, if you want even post self, now just small. He say, but now Tonto now they post them for everywhere. So let's still read forward. He said there was no time my mobile police pointed a gun on her. I didn't know where she got that one from. I went to the FCI ID the next day. After writing statement, the DIG kept us there till 10 p.m. during the interview. The DIG sent my lawyer away and did not give me the opportunity to talk, but he allowed her to speak. It was an arrangement that provoked me, and I started shouting. It was in the presence of three commissioners of police who were trying to calm me down. They didn't give me a fair hearing. They did not allow my lawyer to be there for the interview. That was why the DIG detained me. The Deputy Inspector General of Police, FCIID, Joseph Egbonike, who confirmed Popogri arrest and released in a punch report, said he directed a commissioner of police to arrest Popogri following report of a threatening situation at the hotel. According to him, the police escort were being detained for failing to bring the situation at the hotel under control, adding that Popogri has been released on bail. Bokbogri, who is popularly called Prince of Ni Niger Delta, also revealed that the Toyota he lost DK presented to him on his birthday was not a 2020 model, as speculated by her. He also said she didn't purchase the vehicle that she gifted him on his birthday. She faked the receipt. The car was what she got from one. 
politician. It was a 2017 model that was refurbished to 2020 model and it came with no custom paper nothing nothing he also hinted that the birthday gifts that she posted online on his birthday were all fake Bokbogri said that he had also returned the diamond gift and the car and they were in custody of the police he said tonto is yet to return my car my iphones and the gold earring that she borrowed from my daughter among my other property in her possession. This is the first time politician would reveal that he is a single father. The chairman of the Anti-Corruption and Integrity Forum also said that he is not a blackmailer as he is a strange ex-lover and a colleague had claimed. He had said that if anybody has any evidence of me blackmailing them, let them present it up till now no one has been able to present anything so my people when i don't hear all the story this now waiting popo green mark down <laughs> recently i think yesterday because video come out when popo green they say hey, say they're not arrest and they're not denied popo green grants long interview how everything they start and how everything they end so now we don't know who they talk to because people agree so everything at the bunk debunk this debunk that debunk that debunk this name mr debunk be name so even now now if people agree they say truth everybody they say people agree they lie because we don't know when it is they say the truth we don't know when it is they say the lie because now the people will come out he said they're not arrested he said he didn't have since morning but now yeah now now when he sees a video when it is show for <laughs> police custody does circulate for social media people will run go media house go grant interview now the interview i don't read here so so guys let's know what you think about this video right thanks for watching i'll see you on my next one Bye bye